You have scrounged and extracted cells. You have carefully inspected each and every cell. You have painstakingly tested and sorted the cells into groups. Now what? Hi, welcome to Can a Spader Christmas. Now, somehow we need to take all these cells and arrange them into packs of equal capacity. Now, I could just kind of, you know, start with the highest capacity cells first and kind of distribute them across the packs. Uh, but that may not be exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, it'd be really great if there was some sort of tool out there that you could you could enter in the information about the cells that you have, uh, some information about what you want to build, and then have it kind of figure out what cells go where. As it turns out, if you go over to secondlifestorage.com, there is a tool called Repacker. It's Repack R. I'm assuming there's some sort of copyright thing involved there. Okay, so head over to secondlifestorage.com. Uh, you don't need an account to use this, but uh, you can register here or log in. Uh, a lot of good information here, so I do recommend checking out uh, these forums here. But you're looking for this repacker, so we'll click on that. And this has the instructions. And so well, basically what they tell you to do is put the capacities of all your cells into this block. Uh, then put the number of cells in series, number in parallel, and then choose this option. So the top one... Uh, if you have packs that you're building that you want them to be exactly, uh, for example, mine are going to be 80 cells in parallel, I'd choose this one. If you don't care uh, how many in parallel, but you want the same capacity, you would choose this option down here. But I'm going to go ahead and enter the size first. So I've got seven here. Oops and 80 here and so by doing that we get this little information box up here that says I don't have anything entered here which is correct I need 560 cells to generate a 7s ADP pack so I will go to my list here and I have 2900 milliamp hour cells and I have 24 of those. So I'm just going to paste until I get up to 24. Excellent. And then I'll go to 2800. And you don't have to put these in order. You can put them in there however you, you have them. But I'm just going to do this in order. I have 71 of those. So that number needs to be 95. So I'll just keep pasting. Till we get to 95. Okay. And then 2700. And I'll cut and paste that. And that one, I have 107 of those, so that will end on 202. And then 2600. 2600. And I have 71 of those, so we end on 273. So now that that has disappeared, that means we have enough cells in here to generate our packs. So we'll go down to this button here and hit generate packs. And it will think for a little bit. And then it has come up with this. What you can do is when you go to put your packs in here, you just click that off if you're using uh, the web browser, or you can just print this out and mark it off um, and assemble your packs that way.
So the way you're supposed to do this is actually write down the exact capacities that you have of the cells and put them in there. So I'm, since I'm grouping by 100, I just did it this way. Um, but if you put the exact numbers in there, then you would have to go and find them and assemble the packs that way. I don't know how critical the actual placement of the cells is, but I'm going to start in the center of each pack and just kind of work my way out to the edge. And when you've placed all the cells in the holders, you end up with something that looks like this. That's just sad, isn't it? You end up with something that looks like this. Okay, progress. Still a long way to go though.
I mean, we've got to hook up some bus bars and connect everything up and look at that. Goosebumps. The hair on my arm is standing straight up. Exciting stuff. Uh, I hope you found some of this information useful. If you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Now I shot an email. Game. Game. I got six of these and so they I got five